Welcome to part two of our road mapping tutorial. In part one, we introduced you to the concept of a road map, explaining what it is and how you can build one for your organization or project. You'll remember that a road map forms a key part of your application for funding. In this video, we'll explore how you can use your road map to develop key performance indicators and milestones. We'll also discuss how and when to go back to your roadmap if your project is funded to ensure you stay on track to meet your social impact goals. Let's get going. How to use a roadmap to develop KPIs and milestones. The roadmap is the foundation for your project's future milestones and key performance indicators, known as KPIs. Donors and investors will require regular reports on your KPIs and you'll need to achieve your milestones to be eligible for grant payouts. That means your KPIs and milestones will need to be finalised before any funding is awarded. Right now, you might be wondering how KPIs and milestones differ. Milestones are evidence that you, as the grantee, are doing what you said you would do to implement the project. In other words, milestones are signals that the key activities on the roadmap have been achieved. KPIs track whether or not the project is achieving the social impact forecasted in your roadmap. KPIs come from the outputs and outcomes in your roadmap, which should lead to your long-term goals. KPIs are monitored regularly to flag risks and challenges. They also generate useful insights for your project. Achieving milestones is largely within your organisation's control while achieving KPIs isn't always. For instance, if you launch an app to incentivize household users to start recycling and conduct a marketing campaign, but no one actually signs up to the app, you have completed your milestones without achieving your KPIs. Of course, this would not be an ideal scenario and would flag a project risk to your donors and investors. But this example helps to show how milestones and KPIs differ. To start using your roadmap to determine KPIs and milestones, it's important to first identify your end users and beneficiaries. Look back at your roadmap and ensure that it clearly identifies your end users, those who are directly using your product. End users are evident in your outputs. In the recycled waste example, end users are the individuals using the app. Circle the end users and note down who they are. Beneficiaries are often less obvious. To identify them, try to look at the bigger picture. Does your product have a wider impact, such as increased income for a whole family? Or new access to a household utility for people who do not directly use your product or service? In the waste example, app users are incentivized to recycle. If the incentives offered include increased income for the user, their family as a whole could benefit and therefore be included as beneficiaries. By monitoring those that benefit indirectly from your project, you can understand the wider impact of your work. You can forecast beneficiaries by using census data or market research to find the average household size in the region where the end users live. You can assume that beneficiaries will be equal to the total number of users multiplied by the average household size. It's also important to note that not every project will have beneficiaries. If your project has beneficiaries, circle them on the roadmap and note down how they can be measured. To create KPIs and milestones for your project, draft a table for all your activities, outputs and outcomes. Copy these directly from the roadmap. Add rows to your table as necessary to fit them all in. In the right-hand column of your table, labelled Indicators, list ways your organisation could measure the activities, outputs and outcomes listed. For example, if an activity includes training, this can be measured by counting the number of people attending training sessions. Your organisation can keep sign-in sheets from training sessions and add up the totals every quarter. If you cannot find a way to measure an indicator, it doesn't belong on the roadmap. Go back to your roadmap and make edits so that all activities, outputs and outcomes can be measured. Next, you will need to decide if your indicator is a KPI or a milestone. Milestones are usually pulled from your activities but can sometimes come from your outputs and outcomes. If you have an idea for a milestone that doesn't align with your table, then it probably doesn't fit on your roadmap either. 
it's not ideal for a milestone to rely on third parties, such as forming a partnership, as this could be out of your control. Nor is it ideal for milestones to be the same as KPIs. Once you have determined milestones and KPIs and identified how your team will measure them, you will be ready to start monitoring your project's performance. And if your project ends up generating your intended impact, you will have all the evidence needed to share your proof of concept with donors, investors and the public. When and how to update the roadmap during project implementation. When you are busy implementing your project, it's important to return to your roadmap on a regular basis and update it if necessary. If you aren't meeting your targets for specific KPIs, go back to where that KPI is based in the roadmap and ask your team this question. If we aren't generating this output as much as we hoped, is it still possible for us to create our intended outcomes? Do we need to adapt our strategy? If there is a change to the project, such as a new milestone, your roadmap should be updated to reflect this. You also need to check how changes to milestones affect your outputs and outcomes. Will there be new kinds of impact as a result? Additionally, be sure to keep an eye on your assumptions. Are they accurate or do they require a new activity to address them? And that's a wrap. The road mapping tool is designed to work for any organisation, project, business or entity looking to generate social impact. Within the GSMA Innovation Fund, it's a key aspect of an applicant's technical proposal and forms the foundation for how the project will be monitored and assessed. We encourage you to watch these videos again and to spend several hours with your team finalising your roadmap, KPIs and milestones. Your roadmap can help bring your project to life so you can start changing the world.